Hello, I'm Dr. Juan Gilbert at Auburn University, and I'm a professor in the Computer Science and Software Engineering Department here. And I'm a fellow in the Center for Governmental Services at Auburn University. And I'm speaking to you today about the vote swapping or vote switching issue that has popped up on YouTube and the internet dealing with uh, the machines in West Virginia in particular, and this has happened in other places in the nation. My research lab here, the Human Centered Computing Lab at Auburn University, has developed an electronic voting system called Prime 3. And you can look us up at primevotingsystem.org and see what we've done. I'm not here to talk about Prime 3, but I want to talk about this vote swapping or vote switching issue that has been reported. Uh, as we've seen, there's been allegations of uh, faulty software, fraudulent behavior, and things like that where individuals have gone in to vote, in particular for Barack Obama, and their vote when they touched the screen was swapped for John McCain. So let me begin by showing you a demo uh, from YouTube of, of what is happening and what was reported on CNN. Virginia, we weren't allowed to film the actual machines that had problems, but Jackson County Clerk Jeff Waybright took us through the process with an identical machine and zeroed in on what he thinks happened. They touched on Barack Obama, or they thought they were touching, but their finger might possibly rolled up. Now, if I roll my finger down, you can see that it looks like my finger is definitely on Barack Obama's box. We asked Waybright about insinuations in... So, as you can see uh, by this video, uh, this individual, Jeff, is touching between the line. So people would ask, why would anyone touch between the line? Well, actually, from the research we've done with our Prime 3 system, we've discovered that individuals tend to touch names, not buttons. If you carefully observe the screen here, here's a button that has a name on it, and the name appears at the top. So these individuals who are experiencing the vote flipping or vote swapping, they're trying to touch an individual's name where the size of their finger is larger than the name and tends to touch above in this borderline and hit the button for John McCain. If you notice John McCain's first, therefore, if you were touching John McCain, you would never have a swapping incident the other way because his name is at the top. So essentially, it's not that ESNS software is buggy, and it's not that the the screens, the touch screens themselves, need recalibrating. In fact, they're probably calibrated ideally perfect. However, the issue is that they didn't account for this, ba in this ballot design, they didn't account for our human behavior where individuals touch names and not buttons. So what's the resolution? To resolve this problem, you could simply center the name and bring it down here into this space, and that would eliminate this problem. Well, it's a little late for that for the election. So my recommendation for now is that voters lose this space out here on the button. There's a lot of empty space that you could touch here or here and get your candidate selection right without vote swapping. So again, it's not any fault of ESNS. This is a ballot design issue. It's often the case, as we saw in the 2000 presidential election with the butterfly ballot, that we have bad design. And bad design and ballots can cause these type of errors. Thank you.